Uh, Coach, can you talk about uh, what was so difficult about stopping Brown on the well, you know, he's a, he's a good player, and when we got pressure, he did a good job of, of uh, eluding the pressure and keeping the plays alive, which is you know, pretty much what he's done most of his career. You know, he's a good quarterback. He's a mobile guy. Does a good job extending plays, and, you know, we, we uh, you know, I thought we pressured pretty well at times, but uh, unfortunately, you know, he broke a tackle. Uh, we lost contain on him a couple of times, and when we did that, he made plays down the field. So, you know, he's a good player, and he's got a good group of receivers, and, We've got to do a better job of, of containing them and not letting them get out, making those plays where we have opportunities to. What happened on Jared's interception in the flat? You know, I just, uh, bad, it's just a bad decision, bad decision, bad throw. You know, it's just uh, not quite sure, I'm not quite sure exactly, you know, what, what happened. You know, it just, uh, we, he was trying to make a back shoulder throw on a vertical route, wasn't a good read, wasn't a good throw. Tackling seemed to be a problem today. Was, uh, yeah, yeah, especially early in the ball game. I thought we settled in and tackled better later in the game. It's been a problem for us all year. It's something that uh, that you know we haven't been a particularly good open field tackling team. It's something that you, know, you guys are in practice. You see us work on it all the time. Um, you know, we just didn't do a very good job of uh, making those open field tackles, particularly early in the game. Once we settled in, I thought we tackled better. And uh, you know, I thought defensively we played well enough at times to give us a chance to win. I mean, if the offense would have would have uh, you know, would have played. You know, I think that's been our issue at times this year when our offense has played well, our defense hadn't, or our defense played well. We have struggled offensively like we did tonight. So, you know, there's obviously a lot of ways we've got to get better. But I thought, I thought defensively, you know, those guys, uh, I thought they improved. I thought they, I think they're getting better. Uh, it's nowhere near what we want, but, but I do think that they are are improving. What did you see from Cal Poly tonight? I thought he ran the ball well. You know, I thought he ran hard. I thought we finally got a little bit of production on the run game. You know, at times it was a little bit spotty. You know, we did a horrible job on third down. I think if you look at if you look at her, um, I don't know what the statistics are, but it was bad. You know, third down was was uh, an issue that we were not good at at all tonight. Um, you know, and and we had too many penalties, and that's the thing. Every time we, we had a bunch of penalties on our offensive line, you know, when we get something good going, we look up and all of a sudden we're in first and twenty again, and, and um, you know. When you kind of when you have the kind of pass rush UCLA does, you got to avoid being in long yard situations. And we had we had far too many of those today. Sonny may have addressed this, but can you talk about the pressure that that, that uh, Jared faced most of the night? It seemed like he didn't have time to really go through any pressures at all. Yeah, especially early. I mean, I thought I thought we we you know we settled him in a little bit better. You know, we, we knew uh, we knew we were going to have some issues uh, blocking some of their guys up front, so we tried to leave our back in and chip at times and. That helped in some situations, but uh, you know we had some matchups that we knew were, were not great matchups for us. Um, you know, and, and that's why we felt like coming into this game it was going to be so important for us to run the ball and, and try to get some first downs, move the clock, wear those guys down a little bit, and take the edge off the pass rush. And, you know, I thought in the second half, you know, the pass rush wasn't near what it was, but uh, but as I said, every time we just stuck a drive together, started to have a drive together, we'd end up in a, with a penalty or got down the red zone and down the goal line and didn't score again. That's been a, an Achilles heel of ours all year. So that's, uh, you know, it's kind of the, you know, the not a very not a very clean game offensively. Can you talk about the start for the defense for the first time they didn't allow a touchdown they opened the and they forced a the punt in the next level? Yeah, yeah, I thought those guys started better. I mean, it's obviously been a point of emphasis for us. It's something we've talked a lot about. And, and um, you know, the offense didn't get anything going early. And I think we put our defense in a bad situation. And, Thought those guys rose up and and uh, you know made some plays down there and you know particularly went through the interception and you know held them to a field goal. So I thought I thought at times you know those guys played well. You know we were just uh, you know the tackling hurt us early in the ball game. That's again something that, that is a bit of an issue. Um, you know we got to do a better job of tackling. How about Hundley's performance tonight? You know I thought he was good. I thought he thought he played well. Thought he threw the ball well. Um, you know, I think the thing that, that we uh, we wanted to do was try to take the run game away, and you know, I think for the most part we did. I don't think they I think they had 78 yards rushing according to what I just got here, and, and wanted to make a one-dimensional throw on the ball. Um, you know, he did a good job of, of doing that. You know, he uh, you know uh, completed a high percentage of his throws, and and 
you know, we didn't we didn't tackle in the open field as well as we needed to when he did complete those checkdowns, particularly to the backs. But I thought he, uh, you know, I thought he did a good job avoiding our pass rush when we got pressure. You know, extended plays and, and made plays with his feet. There were a couple points in the game where. Uh, a couple of a couple of first downs, a couple of big plays would have really gotten you into the game. Do you feel like a, a healthier, more experienced team might get over the hump in the future? Yeah, I mean we're we're learning. I mean that's the thing is is as I said earlier, we're uh, we're a team that that you know we just talked to our players about this. We haven't put a, a, a solid football game together all year where, where both sides of the ball played well. And, you know, and uh, as, I, as I said earlier, I thought that I thought defensively, I thought we played probably well enough to, to have a chance to win the ball game if we you know, if we do anything on offense at all, and it just you know struggled to, to execute just basic plays tonight for whatever reason. And you know, UCLA runs well defensively. I mean, that's that's what that's their strength is is that they can they can run. We talked about this. You know, they're playing with a tremendous amount of confidence, playing aggressive. Um, you know, they tackle well in the open field. A lot of times we had our backs in one-on-one -on -one situations with their safeties or their linebackers, and they did a good job of tackling our guys. And, and uh, you know, they, they, they've got a good defensive football team. Have you ever been in a position to have to play so many young, inexper inexperienced players? <sighs> no. No, I never have. Is there a point? That you think the the light comes on, can it happen in the first year for a lot of them, or is sure, that more? Sure, of a yeah, I think, and I think you know, I mean, the thing about it is, there's gonna what you run into are consistency issues with, with young players, and um, you know, there were guys today that, that played uh, much improved. I mean, I think I thought Cameron Walker at times, you could tell he started to get more comfortable and playing more confidence. Demari Drew showed up a lot tonight, played more uh, more comfortable, comfortable and confident. Um, you know, so those two guys in particular, I think, are really improving and getting better. And so, you know, they're both, you know, one's a true freshman, one's a redshirt freshman. You know, I think the freshman linebackers seem to play better. Hardy Nickerson and Barton both, I think, were, were more productive than they've been, particularly against the run. Um, so, I mean, there's some, there's some signs. I mean, that's four freshmen that are starting our defense right now that, that I think, um, you know, are improving. Do you look at what Jim Mora did here last year and bring in about a pretty quick turnaround and, and say this can really translate to Cal uh, yeah, I mean, every team sooner different. than later? Yeah, every team is different. I mean, you know, that's the, I mean, they were a bowl team the year before, you know, and, and I think they went from six wins to eight wins. And so, um, you know, obviously he did a good job. Um, you know, so we've got to try to do the same thing. What did you think of uh, Rogers running the ball in the uh, Okay. You know, good. I thought first it was good. Three times worth the next three you did. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I thought it was good for us. It gave us uh, a chance to, to convert some things short yardage. That's been a, an issue of ours all year. And, you know, again, that's, I can't tell you how many times this year we've been inside the five yard line and haven't been able to get the ball in the end zone. And that's something that, that normally, um, you know, is, is a strength of ours. Hasn't, it certainly hasn't been so far this year. It looked like by the fourth or fifth time you ran it, they pretty much knew it was coming. Was it kind of. Too late to put in a wrinkle. I uh, know we have. I waited a bunch of wrinkles off of it. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else? Came out of this relatively. Yeah, relatively injury. Yeah, I, th I think um, I think Daniel Lasco had a little shoulder injury, uh, but other than that, you know, I think I think we're you know it wasn't 10, 12 guys coming off the field like they're like we've been seeing. So that's that was positive. Trey banged up his knee at the beginning, but it was okay. I think so. I think it was more his thigh than it was his knee. How's Demario doing? That was a pretty big collision. Yeah, you know, he came back and, and jumped right back in there and kept playing. And, um, you know, I think he just, you know, he's a, he's a tough kid. You see the video now. Yeah, it was a, quite a collision. It was helmet to helmet. Yeah, yeah.